On today's episode, we're going to be talking about French explorer Jacques Cartier. Jacques Cartier, dude, get that out of my face. Jacques Cartier was an explorer from France. Get it out of my face. In the early 1500s, the country of France decided to find a short route to the Indies by trying a northern route around North America. This route would be called the Northwest Passage. Northwest Passage. Well, the people of France, they needed an explorer, a navigator, a mariner, someone to represent them to find this Northwest Passage. But who would it be? What about me, Giovanni? <laughs> Giovanni Caboto, yeah? Sorry, Giovanni Caboto, <clears throat> John Cabot. It's not you. Hola, hola, que pasó? De Soto? Mm -mm. What about me, uh, Cristoforo Colombo? <laughs> yes. Uh, get off my show. Uh huh, double to the wee wee. What about me, Jacques Cartier? Ding, 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 ding. In 1534, Jacques Cartier set off from St. Malo, France to find the Northwest Passage. He had two ships and a crew of 62 men. Cartier and his men headed northwest. He reached Newfoundland. Yeah, you saw that right. New found land, original. And then he sailed around its northern tip to Labrador. On land, he set up a cross and he claimed the area for France. Well, he named the new land. Well, what else could you name it? New France. What were some of your accomplishments? I made it back to France with two teeth in my head. <laughs> and I only lost one of my eyes. <laughs> okay, maybe I should be more specific next time. Jacques Cartier, what were some of your accomplishments? Well, I did explore the Gulf of St. Lawrence. Jacques, did you cooperate with the natives that you came into contact with? Well, bowtie guy, oui, oui. I don't know what that means. Yes! Cartier and his crew purchased furs from the native people who proceeded to tell them that their land was called Cantata. Story time! So, the natives told stories about a land in the north that was full of gold and other treasures. Well, this wasn't true, but the French liked stories of riches and the natives loved telling stories. <laughs> Mr. Cartier, did you have conflict with the natives? Be honest. Hey, hey, but I did discover the St. Lawrence River. No, you didn't. You didn't discover anything. It was already there. Okay, well, maybe I explored it. Well, what do you have to say about the Huron chief that let two of his sons sail with you back to France? Oh, uh, <coughs> I just uh, kidnapped them for a little bit. Mm, I'm pretty sure kidnapping's illegal, and kidnap is most assuredly conflict. What obstacles did you face? Well... You had time, but you didn't use it wisely. The weather was quite terrible on your voyages. Well, you were almost frozen, encapsulated, and frozen solid on one of them. Oh, death. Well, specifically your breath. No, <laughs> specifically scurvy. Scurvy was caused by a vitamin C deficiency that your crew had. You needed to eat more oranges and lemons, but guess what? Instead, you just lost all your teeth. You got stuck in the shallow rivers of the St. Lawrence River. Hey, but you do have a lot to celebrate about. You brought French influence into North America. You opened up avenues to exploration for Europeans. And you explored the Gulf of St. Lawrence and the St. Lawrence River. And you know what's pretty cool? You initiated trade relations with the natives throughout Canada. Um, Mr. Cartier, you may stop dancing now. Despite watching Jacques Cartier's awkward dancing, thank you so much for watching. Hey, feel free to check out our Teachers Pay Teachers store check out our Instagram, check out our Facebook, and head on over to our Pinterest page and check out our many boards. Our YouTube channel is pop 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 in. Head on over to our YouTube channel and check out new videos all the time. B -b 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 blogging. Head on over to our Bowtie Guy and Wife blog where you can check out the latest Horton happening.